So Michael Fassbender is a great actor, but unfortunately he's having a streak of bad films. He's been in a video game movie called Assassin's Creed, which was terrible. Strike 1. Strike 2 was the Alien Covenant movie that he did. And now, here's Strike 3, The Snowman. The Snowman, directed by Thomas Albertson, based on the book by John Nesbo, starring Michael Fassbender, Rebecca Ferguson, Toby Jones, Val Kilmer, J.K. Simmons, and James Darcy. This movie is about a serial killer in the country of Norway that is killing people and leaving these snowmen behind as his calling card and you have a police officer going after him played by Michael Fassbender, Harry Hole and he's teamed up with another police officer played by Rebecca Ferguson and these are the detectives going after this serial killer and that's pretty much our movie. Unfortunately, this is one of the worst movies of the year. This is no fault on Michael Fassbender. This is a fault on the director and the script. I just can't believe how bad this movie is. Let's get into the positives of this movie, what little positives this movie has. Michael Fassbender and Rebecca Ferguson are great actors, and they're doing the best they can with this movie. You have J.K. Simmons, who plays a very slimy politician in the movie, and he's doing the best he can and trying to fake a Norwegian accent. Val Kilmer plays a detective that previously worked on the snowman case and he doesn't contribute that much to the film because he because he really can't speak very well because his tumor that he has so maybe he was the wrong actor to portray this role I think I think he was miscasted and Toby Jones is Basically, it just has a cameo. He's barely in this movie. He's wasted in this film. Then again, all these actors are wasted in this terrible train wreck of a movie. The movie is not complete. This movie doesn't feel complete at all. The characters are not fully developed. Butts of the movie is not fully shot. There are a lot of scenes that didn't make it into the final cut because it was so rushed and the editing in this movie is really bad. Tomas Albertson was trying to hide the fact that he didn't film everything with the editing and that just made things even worse. <laughs> there are many scenes where you're left very confused watching the movie and you don't know what is going on. This movie is produced by one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, Martin Scorsese. What happened with this film? I don't understand this. And the pacing is so slow. I blame the pacing part on the director. Thomas Albertson's last movie was Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I know some people like that movie, but I found that movie to be very boring because of the pacing. And he does that same type of pacing within this movie. And this movie gets very boring at times too, even though there were times when it was a little bit suspenseful. There's this one point in the movie where Rebecca Ferguson is using herself as bait to try to catch the killer without even telling her partner, Harry Hole, that she's doing it. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. And you're wondering, why is she telling her partner that she's doing this? And she's, and she's bringing around this big machine to, to record her send the trap that she has to use her fingerprint on and I'm wondering why not make the machine a little bit more compact. There are machines that are more compact that, that, that can be better hidden for, for recordings. It doesn't make sense to use something so big and so obvious. This director really didn't know what he was doing and this movie just, just sucks. 
the movie is just not good. I had a very hard time connecting to some of the events because not everything felt so complete. There's one scene where Michael Fassbender and Rebecca Ferguson are eating hot dogs together and Michael Fassbender cuts the hot dogs in a certain way and that's supposed to symbolize how the, the killer cuts up his victims. But you don't really get that really within this film. You won't get that explained until later on. You pretty much have to guess that on your own and I didn't really like that very much. This movie's just really not good. I definitely don't recommend this film. Go see either Only the Brave or Breathe or, or both. Skip this movie. This movie is terrible. This movie gets an F despite what few positives this movie has. I feel like the negatives cancel out the positives in the film. So don't bother with the snowman. It is a train wreck. It is garbage.